Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to do a spread in my brand new traveler's notebook. Uh, this is just one that I've made myself, but I finished my last one, so I whipped up a new one this morning and I decided I would play in here straight away. All I'm using today is uh, stamps and some ink. I've grabbed some stencils out of my stash of stencils. I just kind of picked ones that were... I guess kind of relevant to me. The photo that I very quickly showed at the start there is one of those um, photos from, I think it's called the uh, Walla AI cartoon photo app, something like that. I'll leave a link down below. I uh, couldn't help it, had to turn myself into a cartoon. Uh, and so I didn't really have any other like, you know, massive like story or theory behind this page other than I had a cartoon photo of myself. I couldn't help it. I had to do it. I decided I would just do a little page a kind of about random things about myself. Uh, and so the stencils that I've picked are pretty much kind of just based on that. So I picked out three stencils. I've picked out three colors. I've got a highlighter neon pink from Hero Arts. Um, I've got a kind of cyan blue, I think it's called Bahama Blue from Memento, uh, and I think the other one's Lemon Zest from Color Theory. They're literally just three random colors that I picked. I love those three together. They're really bright. They're really graphic. I'm going to throw some black in there, and all I'm really going to do at the moment is just layer up some of these stencils. They're not necessarily inks, you know, designed for this type of um, process. I've just grabbed some ink uh, are they called distress tools, distress blending tools with some little foam applicators um, and just kind of really roughly smushing the ink through the stencils there but you can see I'm overlapping those stencils as I go. Now like I said this is a brand new notebook so the the height on the right hand side of the spread is, is quite different to the height on the left uh, so I am doing um, this one that goes sort of I want it to go across the page. But I'm not actually doing it across the page. I'm doing it in two sections so that I can not make as many mistakes as I think I would have ordinarily. And I have just slipped in a couple of bits of scrap paper underneath the pages. This is just regular like stamping ink. So it doesn't have like a massive amount of bleed through. I did just want to make sure that I'm not accidentally like neon pink inking the edges of the rest of this notebook so the rest of the pages will remain white 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 so I want to do my third stencil and I am cleaning off these stencils as I go they're not super messy so I'm just using a chamois and just cleaning that off as I go just off to the side of the camera uh, this one here the blue was considerably darker than I thought it was going to be especially when combined on top of that neon pink um, so in some sections I am pressing quite heavily and getting kind of like a full coverage and in other sections I'm pressing a little bit lighter and it kind of picks up that texture of the foam doba sort of bit so it's kind of grainy and dotty looking I really liked the texture actually so the bits where I didn't press too hard are actually kind of my favorite we can see just kind of randomly what I'm aiming for is to have my photo on the top right and I'm going to add a title and maybe a little bit of journaling down the bottom left. So the stenciling I really am kind of focusing on that top right hand corner and sort of cascading it down the spread like that. Super happy with it. I keep, did keep bringing my photo back over just to make sure I had enough of each of those colors, uh, which I did. I really liked it. After I've de-gummed up my tape runner, I'm going to adhere this photo down. I'm not matting it or anything. Like I said, all I'm playing with is just stamps and inks today. So I'm going to stick it down. I did add a fair amount of adhesive because, as you can see, I haven't let this uh, thoroughly dry. It is just dye ink. It shouldn't take too long. But I have applied some of those quite heavily. So the paper was still feeling just a kind of tiny bit damp so I added a lot of adhesive to make sure that was stuck down. Now like I said I'm going to add a few kind of like accents in black here uh, some of which I am going to use this I Make Messes stamp set from Kelly Stamps. So I grabbed just three kind of I guess they're slightly more generic I don't know if that's the correct term um, 
they're more just statements about myself. So one says like getting creative is my therapy, no such thing as too many, eat, sleep, create. So, you know, like they're less specific to like an event, like there's other ones on there, you know, in my defense, there was a sale or, you know, that sort of thing. So more kind of generic crafty statements. And I'm just going to scatter those around my photo. I ended up changing my mind. I'm going to put one at the top and two down the bottom. They're not really kind of statement stamps. They're just blending into the kind of arty, messy, colorful block that I've made. Um, and after I stamped them, like I like the black with it, especially because um, they're actually navy blue, but my glasses in the cartoon picture come off really dark. Uh, and so I like that it ties those in, but they weren't, the black kind of just wasn't tying in together. So what I decided to do was grab one more stencil. This is one of my favorites. Looks like sort of coffee ring marks. Um, and so I'm going to do just a little bit of stamp, uh, stenciling, sorry, with the black. This time though, I'm being really quite light-handed, so I'm trying not to go like too solid black, so you can see it's quite graphic compared to the rest of it. Um, I'm going to add those in three places, so a couple of them I'm going to push off the edge of the page, like the first one. Uh, this one I'm putting on the right-hand side, I'm using a much smaller one, and like I said, trying to be quite light-handed about it. Uh, and the third one here I'm going to pop up the top, this is a double ring mark. The stencils are really close together, so I'm trying to be really careful, and I did add some scrap paper there to make sure I didn't grab the uh, photo as well, and that, I just feel like it tied the whole thing together. It adds more black, it gives me three kind of, uh, like, visual interest points. I'm not embellishing this page, really, so that gives me my three points of interest, just a little bit of movement, uh, just an extra layer, and I really love how it pulled it all, pulled it all together. So my last thing to add here, I am going to add a title. These are some super old alphas from Studio Calico. You can see I've got one set that was originally intended to be black, uh, and I've got another set that was neon green, and so I turned them black with some stays on ink. Um, I'm having to use both because I don't have enough alphas on either set to just complete this very simple sentence of this is me. I am using a ruler guide to try and get that as straight as possible. And then I'm going to stamp one more of the stamps from the I Make Messes stamp set. It just says, I make messes. <laughs> so this is me, I make messes. Um, I'm stamping this one in black as well. And then I'm going to go away and just add some journaling underneath uh, with my typewriter, which you will see here in the finished shots. And that is my very simple, simple page. Obviously, this is sped up a little bit for you guys, but the whole thing really didn't take me any longer than about 15 minutes. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for a discount code to the Kali Stamp Store. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.